This little heart in me just won't let me be. I'm gonna rock you now. Won't you rock with me? A long, 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 long time. So May the 11th, we're going to be celebrating 47 years of the Canadian Caribbean Association of Halton. So it's going to be a great night of culture and history. We're going to have the honorable, the honorable Greg Fergus is going to be the uh, our keynote speaker. Uh, Two-time Juno Award winner Sonia Collymore is going to be performing, and she's going to do a fantastic job. Uh, live DJs, we have some steel pan um, uh, music, great food by Trick Nick Catering, which is award-winning Caribbean food, so delectable jerk chicken and such, and giveaways, raffles throughout their whole entire night as well. Now, you mentioned right there your guest speaker is the Speaker of the House, Greg Fergus. He was definitely in the headlines in 2023. So I've got to ask you, why was he the choice for this event? I mean, it's Greg Fergus, right? He's the first Black Speaker of the House. He's a phenomenal individual. And just really to raise the bar in, in terms of, you know, community events and having that stature of speaker, we really wanted that name. And, you know, I'm not sure if you've ever seen Greg Fergus speak, but he really brings a lot of uh, intentionality to his uh, uh, speaking and just overall good guy. Okay, so that night, the Four Pillars Award recipients will be presented. Uh, what are the people being recognized for? So the Four Pillars are community, culture, harmony, and education. And um, so we're going to be focusing on that, right? We're going to make sure that we give back to the community what they deserve. So they always say, you know, make sure that you give people their flowers. We're giving the flowers that night for four individuals who really deserve those four awards. We can definitely look forward to that. But when it comes right down to it, this night is all about raising money. But whenever I, you know, do one of these interviews, I want to know what the money goes towards. Obviously, CCH, but where do we see that in the community? Well, the main part, uh, uh, the main direction of the funds really is for the youth programs. We do summer camps, we do youth leadership programs, we have a number of programs, so to list them all here, this would be a one hour episode. Um, but really just giving back to the youth in the Halton region, uh, making sure that we have the funding to keep our programs going, like our summer camp, which is extremely well priced all summer long, um, really staffed out heavily. We actually have a number of students, I think we have 60 children this year, I could be wrong, but we have a number of children that come out for, I think it's $5 a week. So I mean, you know, Funds that we uh, collect from these events, from our sponsors, from our attendees, really help to give back to the community. And if people are interested in, in attending or if they just want to get involved, how can they do so? www.ccah.ca. All the information is there. We're always looking for volunteers, always looking for sponsors, always looking for mentors, and always looking for donations as well. So check out our website. Everything that you need for CCAH will be on www.ccah.ca. Dot C.A.